it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and Apple has just released its latest update to iOS 16, iOS 16.5.1a. And it's actually not the first time Apple has released a software update like that, which is called RSR. So in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about 16.5.1a. And of course, I'll also remind you what kind of update is that, what's RSR and everything else that you need to know. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so RSR stands for Rapid Security Response, and it's kind of your typical software update. So you're gonna go ahead, go to General, Software Update, and then it's gonna pop up right here, just like that, and then you're gonna go ahead, download and install it as you're used to. Uh, I'm already updated, that's why you're seeing this, okay? But it has something different. As you can see right here, it's gonna have this letter at the end, in this case, letter A, right? And this will indicate that this is an RSR. And an RSR has one very specific thing in mind. It's a small software update intended to be downloaded and installed fast. Its only goal is to provide security and vulnerability fixes between software updates. So then we were in iOS 16.5.1 and in just a couple days, maybe a couple weeks, we're gonna see iOS 16.6, right? So then 16.5.1a, it's a security software update, a rapid security response in between those two iOS versions. So that's its purpose and that's the exact thing it's gonna do, nothing more than that. The idea here is that you can actually download it and install it in just a few minutes and get the vulnerabilities fixed. In this software update, specifically in 16.5.1a, what Apple is trying to fix and patch and resolve has actually something to do with WebKit. And if you've seen videos here on the channel before, uh, you've seen that I've mentioned WebKit many, many times in the past, especially when talking about vulnerability and bug fixes and things like that. And maybe you don't really know what WebKit is, so that's why I decided to explain you very quickly that WebKit is actually a web browser engine, but it's actually used by Safari, Mail, the App Store, and many other apps on macOS and iOS. So it's a very, very important element in the operating system that we use all the time. So that's why it's, uh, it's a target for attackers and hackers and people like that. And that's why we constantly see WebKit uh, when you're seeing Apple security release notes and everything like that. And the problem specific here that Apple treated in this software update has to do with arbitrary code execution when processing web content. And if you're not really sure what that is, arbitrary code execution called ACE as well, is when an attacker has the ability to actually run any command or code of the attacker's choice, which is like unbelievable, on a target machine. In this case, our iPhone or our Macs and things like that. So it's actually a critical vulnerability. So that's why Apple went to the trouble of actually creating a whole software update, even though it's an RSR, but a software update to fix this problem. So it's extremely important that everybody, absolutely everybody installs iOS 16.5.1 right now on their devices because this is a problem and it may have been actively exploited, okay? So this is super important, all right? So that's it and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.